Three members of the Gallatin County Capital Improvement Committee have resigned after claiming there's been a lack of communication between the committee and commissioners when it comes to planning for major projects like the new Law and Justice Center. MTN's Emma Hamilton has more. This committee reviews capital projects going on within the county and then reports to commissioners so that they can formulate the intended projects for the year. One of the biggest capital projects being planned currently is the new Law and Justice Center that is set to be on the ballot this November. The chairman, vice chair, and one other member have resigned, claiming the committee hasn't been involved in the planning of major projects. Those people have been on, on that committee for a number of years, um, and I appreciate their service. And, and I wish they could have come and they would have come and talked to the commission. We would have explained a few things for them. In his resignation letter, Chairman David Weaver said, I can only conclude from the commission's lack of communication and involvement with the CIPC over the past several months that the commission has no interest in utilizing the CIPC. Just last year, commissioners approved an expansion of the CIPC's mission and bylaws to include additional planning and public awareness of projects. Former Vice Chair Don Martin says, Since that time, however, it has become apparent that the committee's involvement in or recommendation on any capital project is no longer desired or deemed useful by commissioners. We value their, their service. We really do. We value their opinions. We, we appreciate the time that they, they put in, and uh, uh, we take it pretty seriously. They're, they're uh, sort of our ear to the community. Commissioners are still in the design phase of the new Law and Justice Center, and once those plans are complete, they plan to turn it over to this committee so they can educate the community about the new building. Reporting in Bozeman, Emma Hamilton, MTN News. There are currently still six members sitting on the committee. 